clubs kicked off to a great success. We had a series of seed dating talks, club sessions and career clinics going on. And the whole reason behind Cool Jobs was to really bring in all of the amazing supporters and partners that Science Gallery has, but to open that up to the university and to the students and to give them a kind of sense of the careers that are out there in science and technology. And also really in the current kind of economic climate that we're in to actually say there are jobs out there in these sectors, there are opportunities there, and to give them an opportunity to actually talk to some of the people who may be their future employers. Well, I think it was a great event. It was very different from anything we've ever done in Intel. And the fact that it was very casual and social really worked. Uh, we had a lot of people you know, who had good long chats with our engineers, which is really what it's about. And they really know what jobs in Intel are like. So every morning we go into the fab, we dress in the spacesuits, we go in, and it's a bit like being doctors around a patient's bed. You talk about you know, how the tool performed last night, what its status is, what work needs to be done. You know, a lot of the talks are very concise to the point. Some of them were a bit out there, like I thought the, the guy at Google was very uh, informal, uh, which, which was great, he was very affable and he had a fantastic moustache, which is a great thing to see in the industry, you know. We look for somebody who makes us go, wow. Uh, and actually just like Intel, we'll often hire somebody in and say, you can do that job for now, and as soon as you work out what your perfect job is, go do and find that. A lot of jobs that I didn't think would have been around are. Um, I definitely didn't think that there was as much flexibility with some of the companies, like they were saying that you could just go in and then decide what you wanted to do. You know, that you know, it means there's a little more hope. A lot of the times, businesses are actually very interested in people who do science, simply because it can also help them get an understanding of the science and the research work that you guys do. I think the event today was really well organised. I think it gave a lot of young people the opportunity to come in and find out about a lot of current careers, a lot of uh, different and diverse careers, and really get hands-on with people who are involved in these different industries and ask the important questions. Now, so what does AirGrid do? Well, we're the transmission system operator in Ireland, so what does that mean? We operate and maintain and develop the HV network, so that's the high voltage network for electricity in Ireland. I know when I was in Trinity doing my degree and my PhD here, um, I was quite unsure. I, I didn't really know what big industries like Google, Intel, what the engineers actually did there. So I thought it was good for the students to get a one-on-one -on -one experience with people who work in these companies. IBM is a company put a lot of focus on Ireland as um, a location. So it's a, it's a very, very diverse campus. There's security of employment there and there's, it, it's always one of the sites of choice when it comes to setting up new groups and there's lots of exciting work being done there. Um, I certainly also have never been to a student event where they serve alcohol, so <laughs> definitely very different and quite cool I have to admit. So the name was fitting for the jobs fair, so no, I thought it was a great event, absolutely.